Every once in a while, you will come across a story regarding advancement in medical science and technology that will seem too outlandish to be true, only to discover, upon conducting further research, that it is absolutely true. A great example of this, for instance, is the reports emerging about work being done to improve X-rays and lower radiation exposure by studying moths. The research in this area is being conducted by a team led by Yashi Yi, a professor at City University of New York who also works closely with NYU and MIT, with a focus on recreating the structure of the moth's eyes to reduce radiation dosages received by patients, while also creating images that have a higher resolution than ever before. Of course, study of the moth's eye is nothing new as engineers have been using the moth's eye for years as a model to help them design coatings for solar panels that are more efficient. And militaries have even been studying the moth's eye in order to learn more about anti-reflective surfaces. The reason for this is simple. The moth's eye is a large compound tool made up of thousands of omatidious structures that are comprised of primitive corneas and lenses that are incredibly anti-reflective, causing them to bounce very little of the light that hits them. Because of the fact that X-rays use scintillation materials that absorb energy of incoming particles, thereafter re-emitting these absorbed particles in the form of light, Yi's research has led to the creation of a thin film made up of a special type of crystal that is modeled after the structure of the moth's eye. With this film, medical imaging devices are able to improve the efficiency with which the scintillators convert X-rays into light, which allows for images of a higher resolution, without increasing radiation. In fact, early tests using this film have shown that they are able to increase the intensity of the light emitted by close to 200%. In the long run, the hope is that this research will lead to a new class of radiation technology that will enable images to be created at the same level of quality at which they are currently created, with about half the radiation exposure that is experienced currently. And while we are still a few years away from this goal becoming a reality, there is a very good chance that use of this sort of technology will be common practice within about five years. It might seem too outlandish to be true, but the same has been said in the past about many medical advancements, and soon we may find that this innovation inspired by the moth is just one more piece of our ever-growing puzzle of advancements in radiology.